You know, I'm surprised, you know. But he's angry, you know, about something. I don't know, really, you know. Sure. Breaking news, a murder and arson arrest tonight. Police say that deadly fire that ripped through an apartment was set on purpose. And tonight, one man is behind bars, and those who know him are shocked. At 11 o'clock, good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We've been following the investigation into that fire at the Cape Manor Apartments near Northeast 98th and Gleason since it broke out Sunday morning, killing two people. Now, police say this man, 28 year old Ryan Monaco, started it. Our Cole Miller is live in downtown with these new details. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. We've learned that Monaco was arrested this morning. Tonight, he's locked up here at the Justice Center and back out at that apartment. Those who know him tell me they were shocked to hear of this news. I smell like the smoke of the fire. I woke up my mom and all my brothers and took them out of the house. Panic early Sunday morning where flames shot out from this apartment building in Northeast Portland. They sleep up the stairs. They sleep up the stairs. Khalid Mohammed's family made it out safe. Two roommates inside died, and tonight, police have arrested this man, Ryan Monaco, on charges of aggravated murder and arson. I mean, he wasn't really that bad a guy. He used to live here a long, a long time ago. The family tells me Monaco used to live here, but hasn't for a while. As of late, I'm told he would visit off and on, that he was dating someone here, and at times, they would fight. He's really quiet, you know, he's really quiet, you know, he's really nice, you know. Police say fire investigators working alongside homicide detectives determined Monaco was to blame for the blaze. A blaze Mohammed knows could have been so much worse. Almost going to be dead, you know, almost dead. That's lucky, family, lucky family, really. As for those two people who died, police have not yet said who they are, saying they're trying to notify family at this time. As for Monaco, he'll be in court tomorrow morning. Jeff Jennifer, we're told more charges could be coming his way. Live tonight in downtown Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. And we'll be continuing to follow this story from court in the morning. Thanks, Cole. Hope you enjoyed today. And guess what? It was the cool.